Okay, so this is a little glove box door. It's got uh, three coats of clear urethane over it. You can see there's a lot of nibs in it from the ink. Uh, burl patterns tend to do that. Um, and it's fairly rough looking. But with a sanding it with 500 grit will take that all out. And I'll put two more coats of clear over. Putting on the three coats of urethane gives me plenty of clear to work with to flatten things down, get everything nice and smooth. The 500 grit wet dry will take it down flat really quick. I use quite a few paper towels to get things good and dry to see where I'm at. You can hear the sandpaper, it's uh, cutting really well. You notice I don't sand too hard around the edges. It's really easy to go through the edges on these uh, little glove box doors. There's a little bit of a ridge there. So here you can see it's pretty dull, pretty flat. And I spray the degreaser over it, it'll kind of tell me what I what things are gonna look like when the clear goes on it. So that's pretty much it. It's ready for a couple more coats of clear. This is the clear I use. It's Universal Clear Coat by Southern Polyurethanes. You can order that online at their website. That's the little uh, clear gun I use, the Sada Mini Jet. I like to use those uh, D cups because they're really helps with clean up doing little little jobs. You just have a throwaway liner in them. And when you're going around parts like window molding and such, the gun doesn't drip out of the air hole like on a lot of other cups. It's pretty much a sealed unit. It's pretty dirty. I'm really not ready to spray clear for this quick demo. I guess we're all alive. <laughs> so 
I would do two coats here. My gun isn't adjusted. I'm just uh, a little late in the day, so. I just want a couple nice smooth coats. I'll kind of find a glamour coat. give about 10 minutes between coats. With the universal clear coat, you can spray pretty heavy without getting solvent pop, but it's one of the reasons I like it. I've got a couple of dust nibs, but they'll come right out no problem with the 1500 grit wet dry. Okay, we'll just speed this up. There's really not much to it. Um, you just want to sand the, any nibs out, get your part dull after the last two coats of clear have been applied. Uh, really not much to it. If you're on a complex part, just don't sand into tight corners where you can't get your buffer. Uh, unless it's absolutely necessary, you might have to do some hand buffing. That's pretty much it. Okay, so here we have our part. It's dry, it's dull. It's at its final uh, sanding with 1500 grit, wet dry. Using a product called Liquid Ice Extra Cut it's by Norton. It's pretty much all you need. It'll uh, bring this paint up pretty easy with 1500 grit. I use foam pads on my buffer. They're less likely to grab compared to, say, wool. And you just have to be careful to try not to burn any edges. Uh, you may even want to tape them off with a low tack tape. You just want to use your uh, overhead lights to uh, really inspect the parts. It may look dumb, but uh, move it into a different light area of your shop and have a look at it and you'll see spots that you miss. It's real easy to miss spots when you have high gloss parts like this. They reflect everything. One of the nice things about the Southern Polyurethane Universal Clear Coat is it really does uh, sand and buff very easy for a few days after you put it on. You can see that came up pretty good just the first quick buff with the heavy cut. You could pretty much finish it up with the heavy cut. I think it breaks down, becomes finer as it heats up. And that's why you get a polished look. But here, this gray is the uh, 3M Perfected 2. And I'm using a softer foam. And that brings, kind of cleans things up and uh, gives you a nice uh, reflection. And you can take it as far as you want. I mean, you can chase the tiniest little things that most people would never even see, but if you're doing a Pebble Beach quality car, it's worth the extra effort. 
you come up with a spot that you don't like, you may want to 500 it, do a little touch up, put two more coats of clear on and do it again.